The door opens by itself. The door opens by itself. Which sentence has the correct subject verb agreement? Think about this while watching this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tiny Teaching Tube. Today we're learning all about subject verb agreement with singular and plural nouns as subjects. Let's get started. What is subject verb agreement? Simply put, it means that the subject of your sentence and the verb must match in number. If the subject is singular, the verb must be singular too. If the subject is plural, the verb must be plural. Singular noun subject means there is just one subject, the cat. When the subject is a singular noun, you should add s, es, or ies to the verb. The cat stretches. The cat cries. The cat drinks. Plural noun subject means there is more than one subject, the cat. When the subject is a plural noun, you should not add anything and just use the base form of the verb. The cats stretch. The cats cry. The cats drink. Let's explore some more, but I'll leave the rule up here for you. Add S, E, S, or I, E, S to most verbs if the subject is singular. The cat jumps. Do not add anything if the subject is plural. The cats jump. Now, I'll say a sentence and you try to guess the correct verb form. The teacher teach or teaches the lesson. The correct answer is teaches. The subject is singular. The students study or studies hard for exams. The correct answer is study. The subject is plural. Dolphins swim or swims in pods. The correct answer is swim. The subject is plural. Get it? I'll give you a little quiz on this later, so don't forget. Now, let's look at the tricky irregular plural nouns. We'll apply the same rule here. If the subject is singular, add S, E, S, or I, E, S. And if the subject is plural, do not add anything to the verb. The child reads books. The child is a singular noun, so we're going to add S to the verb. Reads. What if there is more than one child? The children. The children read books. The children is a plural noun, so we do not add anything to the verb. Now let's practice with a few more examples. I'll say a sentence and you try to guess the correct verb form. The person speak or speaks quietly. The correct answer is speaks. The subject is singular. The people wait or waits for the ride. The correct answer is wait. The subject is plural. His feet smell or smells. The correct answer is smell because the subject is plural. Now it's time for a mini quiz. I'll give you a few sentences and you'll fill in the blanks with the correct verb form. You can write your answers in the comments below. The cat play or plays with a ball. The dogs bark or barks loudly. The men eat or eats their vegetables. Time to check. The cat plays with a ball. The dogs bark loudly. The men eat their vegetables. How did you do? Let me know how you did on the quiz in the comments. 
Well, that's it for today's lesson on singular and plural noun subject verb agreement. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more grammar tips. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!